it going? It is me, Megan, and I am back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and a few other platforms, but mostly Poshmark. And here on YouTube, I like to make reseller content. I'll do what sold videos like this, I'll do unboxings, reviews, all that good stuff. So if that is something you guys are interested in, please make sure to like and subscribe, and that way you'll never miss one of my videos. I do post multiple times a week, Sundays, Wednesdays, and sometimes Fridays. And if you want to be notified when my videos do come out, you can hit that bell icon next to the subscribe button. It's free and I'll just let you know when my videos come out. So yeah, this week was pretty good. I had a good, like a normal sales week. Not too many big sales. I did have a lot of smaller sales. Again, another no sale day which has been kind of odd. I know I hear from a lot of you guys that other platforms have done really well for you, like consistently, like you never have no sale days and that's absolutely amazing. I just, I like to primarily sell on Poshmark and I just, I don't know, I'm most comfortable with Poshmark. I feel like when I'm on there, I can be more interactive. Like if I'm not getting a lot of likes or attention in my closet on items, I can share my closet more, I can share other people's closets, I can send out offers, which I know you can totally do on other platforms as well. And you can also promote your items on other platforms too. But I don't know, there's something about Poshmark I just like. I know that Poshmark tends to have the biggest fees and that's really unappealing to people. I totally get it. I just, I don't know, I like it. <laughs> I know some really big resellers only sell on Poshmark too, so. It's just a personal preference. I would love to be more active on eBay and Mercari, but I've had times where I was more active on those sites and I don't know, it gets a little overwhelming to spread myself what I feel like spreading myself thin amongst many platforms, but we'll see. Maybe when I'm doing this full time or during the summer when I will have more time. So anyway. I'm just gonna get into what's sold this week. So on Sunday the 11th, I had six sales. The first sale I had was this Champion Graphic Tee. This was a men's tee. It was a full price sale. It sold for $20 and after fees I made $16. And that came from a men's Jomar box that I got. Um, my most recent one that was not great. I will have a review up on that probably in a couple of weeks and I can let you guys know if I've profited on that yet. Then I sold these J. Crew white denim shorts. I believe I got these in a denim rescue box from ThreadUp from a while ago. Some ThreadUp box, they're white and I usually don't pick up white, especially white denim. It tends to stain a lot, but I was able to get these to be nice and bright white. We sold for 18 and after fees I made 14.40. Then I sold this Ralph Lauren men's polo shirt. This came from my first men's Jomar box that I got that was actually really good. It sold for 23 and after fees I made 15.49 on Poshmark. Then I had a full price buy of this J. Crew denim snap up top. If you remember, this came from my most recent Bins Trip haul video. I sort of picked it up because I wasn't finding too many great things. I do like to sell J. Crew. It's just not always the best seller for me, especially not for like a higher price point. But when I saw this top at the Bins, I know it's super trendy. People love these button up Western tops, especially with like the pearl like snap ups. But when I went to go photograph it, I did notice a few flaws, some small holes and a stain. So I only listed it for 16, but someone came on around and bought it for that and it sold. And I made $12.80 after fees. Then I had a thread up sale of these Liz Claiborne jeans. I honestly don't remember getting these jeans. So I probably got these in some sort of thread up, probably denim box. I sent them in the thread up because I didn't want to sell them. They sold for $15.99 and after fees I made $1.92. And the last thing I sold on Sunday was this Boston Proper Wool Sweater. This also came from my most recent Ben's trip. It was amazing quality. I've never sold Boston Proper before, but it was like, a, I think a wool blend. It was white, so it makes it great for spring and summer. It did have like some discoloration, but I think it was just dirt. But it sold for 40 and after fees, it made $32 on Poshmark. Then on Monday, I just had two sales. I sold this Free Hot and Mother Jean. I think it was a collaboration. I don't really know what Free Hot is but I do know what Mother is. Mother is an absolutely amazing jean bolo brand. I've only found it three times in the past. First two times I actually found it was at the bins and I was amazed. <laughs> they usually sell pretty quick for me around 60, but these ended up selling at an offer for 50, which I was totally fine with because I have sat on these for a while. Colored denim is just not the most trendy thing. 
So I did sit on these, but eventually someone offered me 50 and I accepted and I made $40 after fees on Poshmark. And that pair I actually found at a Goodwill and I don't remember how much I paid for it. Hopefully like $15 or less. I have talked about this before, but a lot of when I actually go to shop at Goodwill here in the city, I spend anywhere pretty much from like $8 to $18 on clothes and it really just is brands that I can't find anywhere else especially at the bins things I want to have in my closet sometimes I do have to pay up for those items to put them in my closet to bring traffic in so yeah if you're wondering if I just say oh I only spent $15 on something and you've never spent $15 on something to resell that's just that's why I say it because to me it's not that expensive in retrospect to things that I have found that have been more expensive. And then the other thing I sold on Monday were these American Eagle Outfitters black mom shorts. These came from my fiance sister's donations from back in November. They sold for 20 and after fees I made $14.50. And then on Tuesday the 13th I had six sales. I sold these Sonoma boyfriend jeans. Sonoma is a Kohl's brand. These came in a denim rescue box from a while ago. I waited on listing them for a while. They were in my death pile, but I ended up listing them. Boyfriend jeans have done really well for me. They sold for 13 and after fees I made 8.55. And then following that, I had another Sonoma sale, which is so weird. I think it's the most odd thing when I sell a brand like back to back that I have such a hard time selling any other time. Um, and these were to two different buyers. So the other thing I sold was this new attack Sonoma men's Sure, it was a flannel, it was new tags, like I said. <laughs> this actually came from my second Chomar men's box, which was not as good as the first one, but it sold for 22 and after fees I made $16.10 on Poshmark. Then I sold these Lululemon men's yoga pants. If you remember, these were from my haul video that I put out last, this past Wednesday. They were men's yoga pants. Um, they were in the women's section. I tend to find a lot of men's Lululemon in the women's section at my Goodwill. I think they assume everything Lululemon is women's, which is fine. I don't care if it's women's or men's. It's both sells pretty well for me. I think I paid 15 for these. They sold for 47 and after fees I made 37.60. Then I sold a bundle. I sold a bundle of this Billabong tank. I love selling Billabong for whatever reason. It gets a lot of attention in my closet. And that I got, I believe, either in a Jomar woman's mystery box or a thread up woman's mystery box. <laughs> and then the next thing in that bundle was this new attack nasty gal crop top. This came from my Play-Doh's mystery boxes I got last winter. And then this kimchi blue top which is sold at Urban Outfitters. I got that from the bins. I ended up selling the bundle for $34 and then after fees I made $27.20 which I thought was a pretty good deal. All those items separately have been getting a good amount of attention in my closet but I make really good deals on bundles because I'm just excited to get that many things at once to move. Um, so I was happy with that profit. Then I had a couple of thread up sales. One was this new attack faded glory short. Again, I really don't remember where I got this. I believe those also came from my Play-Doh's closet mystery boxes. I sometimes don't have a problem selling faded glory. It's an old Walmart brand. Um, I did have another faded glory sale later the same week um, that I sold in my Poshmark closet and I had one from last week. So I'm not opposed to it. It just, this piece has to speak to me for me to want to sell it. These were just basic. I sent them in the thread up. They sold for $8.99 after fees I made 61 cents. And then I also had this other sale on thread up of these Lance and jeans. I don't remember getting these. I think they also came from a Plato's mystery box. They sold for $27.99 after fees I made $5.32. <laughs> then on Wednesday the 14th, I had my no sale day. It's been kind of weird. This is my third week in a row that I've had a no sale day, which isn't the end of the world by any means. It's not as discouraging as it once was, but I find it funny because this week I had a no sale day on Wednesday. Last week it was on Friday and the week before that it was on Thursday. So it's not even like every Friday I have no sales. It's kind of hard to track. It is mid to end week, but I just find that funny. And then on Thursday I had three sales. I sold this, the sack crossbody. I really like the Saks pieces that are crocheted, but they don't do as well for me as their leather pieces. They don't sell for as much either, but I sold this one for 30. I believe I got this at a thrift store for $7. 
uh, after fees I made $24 on Poshmark. Then I sold these Mark Nason leather boots, I believe is what the brand is. Mark Nason um, is pretty expensive. This was a lower end line from his brand. They were really, really, really cool. They had these like skull studs on them. These are actually gonna be in my video that's gonna come out on Wednesday of my men's haul, collective haul video where I'm gonna show you a bunch of men's items I picked up. I believe I spent like $25 on these, but I was hoping to get a lot more, especially because these were like motorcycle style. However, they did have their flaws, a few stains in the canvas that were very apparent that I couldn't get out. So when someone came around and offered me 80, I decided to accept and I made 56.55. This is a piece that I do feel like if I had listed it on eBay, I might have been able to get more for it, but I am still happy with that profit. And then I sold my other Faded Glory piece that I was talking about, these Faded Glory American Flag swimsuit shorts. These I got at the bins. I picked them up purely based on style red white and blue you can't go wrong someone will come and buy them eventually i have had these for a while i don't know if i got them before fourth of july last year but these i knew they were gonna sell this year before the fourth of july uh, they sold for 14 and after fees i made eleven dollars and five cents and then on friday the 16th i had four sales i sold this sixers bucket hat which again if you remember this came from my most recent Ben's haul video. I love this bucket hat. I think it's so cool. Again, very 4th of July. And the Sixers are a Philadelphia basketball team. And this actually sold to someone in Philadelphia. So they're probably a fan <laughs> and not just getting it based on style. It sold for 31 and after fees I made 23.30. And then I sold this Madewell tie-dye dress. This I've had for a while. This I believe I got in a woman's throw up mixed clothing box from a while ago. I think I've had it since last summer and it didn't sell. Tie-dye has actually been a really hard sell for me when I know some other people have actually gone out of their way to tie-dye pieces to like make good money on it. For me, I've had a really hard time selling my tie-dye pieces. I'm not quite sure why. It could be the design. It's not like classic tie-dye. It's more like an indigo dye. But anyway, it's over 36 and after fees, I made 26.34 and Madewell has been a much slower sell for me, especially like when it's not their jeans and like denim. Then I sold this Alice and Olivia bodysuit. I've had this for a while now. I believe I got this before the pandemic even started because I remember buying it and I was at a bar because I bought it on my phone, like online arbitrage kind of um, from a reseller. This was back when I thought Alice and Olivia was doing really well for me because I did sell one top for a lot a long time ago but this sat and sat and sat. Eventually it sold for 30 and after a few sold me 24 and I don't remember how much I paid for that. I think like 10 bucks. So I still doubled my money which is good but it took forever to sell. And then I had another thread up sale. This Michael Kors belt sold for $20.06 and then after a few sold me 442 and that was free to me. It was a donation from my fiance's sister. And then on Saturday the 17th, I had six sales. The first one was a full price buy of these Victoria's Secret London jeans. These came from my most recent denim DIY box video. Shout out to everyone who told me these were Victoria's Secret. When I was filming, I that was my first thought because when you see VS, I think everyone just thinks Victoria's Secret. But for whatever reason, even though I lived through the early 2000s, I did not know that that was their jean brand. But anyway, um, it was very Y2K. Ended up selling for what I had listed at, which was $30. And after fees, I made 24. Then I sold these new Attack J brand jeans. These I got at Plato's Closet a little while ago. I want to say for like 20 or $25, which was a high to pay for J brand. Because J brand doesn't do super well for me. But they were new Attacks for over $200. So I sent them in a thread up, they didn't sell, I got them back, then I listed them myself. Eventually someone came around and offered me 90 and I accepted because I still made almost a $50 profit, which I thought was pretty good. And again, J Brand just doesn't do <laughs> very well for me. Um, so they sold for 90 and after a few, I made $72. Then I had another bundle sale of these loft earrings, which came from my most recent fun box. These Levi cut off shorts, which came from the bins. They were like bleached orange. So they were a harder sell, but they were 501s. And then these new jeans, N-E-U-W, I think they're Australian brand. They retail very high, but they're a little bit harder of a resell. 
sale. Uh, the whole bundle ended up selling for $58, which I was pretty happy with. I think the thing I spent the most on in that were the jeans. I want to say I probably spent like maybe nine bucks on them. So in all, I probably spent like $12. Sold for $58 and after these I made $46.40. Then I sold this men's RBX quarter zip pullover. I believe I got that in a men's throw up box. RBX is not Reebok sport line clothing line. Even though people say that, it's not. It's separate. It actually stands for, this is probably not even right, Rebel Bear Extreme. I don't know if it's rebel or a different word, but it's definitely bear extreme, something bear extreme. Anyway, it's not very expensive. I sold it for 10 and after fees I made $5.55. Then I sold this Hollister flannel. I don't usually sell flannels, mostly because you can find flannels in any thrift store, Walmart, Target, anywhere you go. So the odds that someone's gonna buy them for me are lower, but this was free to me. It came from my fiance sister's donations to me. It sold for 10 and after fees I made $7.05. And then the last thing I sold yesterday was this Anthro Linen Romper, super cute. I've gotten, ever since I <laughs> listed this romper, I've gotten at least five likes on it every single day. And every like I get, I do send an offer out and it's just taken forever to sell. So I'm just glad to see it go because I stare at it every single day but it was cute it was striped it was linen which people love to sell um it sold for 40 and after fees i made 29.54 and i did pick that up at a thrift store but i really don't remember how much i spent on it i probably paid up so my gross total this week that i made was 875 dollars and three cents then after fees of 278.34 i net 596 dollars and 69 cents so i'm pretty happy with that it is pretty much at $600, which is fantastic. Again, this is part-time for me, so really I'm just looking to double what I make at my other part-time job, so it's like full-time <laughs> money, if you will. Um, and yeah, I just enjoy this so stinking much. I did mention, I think for the last three weeks, that I hadn't listed anything new. I finally got around to listing some new stuff, which was really nice to get back into the swing of things i think i don't know i was just have been ignoring reselling for a while and having to do anything like make packages and whatever just seemed very daunting and challenging so it was nice to get to take photos of new stuff and to clean up my office space which i do share with my fiance i'm actually in my office space like this is where i film um i take my photos just past this rack and the wallpaper you see takes up a very small portion <laughs> of this wall that's why I'm so zoomed in all the time um, and then we have our desk and yeah it's really a separate bedroom room because um, I live in a two-bedroom apartment but it works somehow it works it has a closet which is absolutely amazing it's nice that I get to keep all my reselling stuff pretty much in there and yeah, eventually, maybe this summer, when I clean up this office space a little bit more, um, I'll give you guys a tour. I think that would be fun. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna stop rambling and get on with my day because I do have a few more videos to film. But thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I hope you had a great week sourcing and selling. I also hope your weather has been as nice as it has been here. It's supposed to get to 80 degrees today and I don't have air conditioning. But luckily it's not that hot in our apartment yet, but I am a little bit dreading this summer. But anyway, I hope your weather's been super nice. I hope you had a great time reselling and I will see you guys all in Wednesday's video. Bye.